guys, welcome to New Leaf Table. I am your humble host, Chef E. Today we're gonna make a ground chicken cauliflower with mushroom hash, super easy, one pan, makes everything really simple. So first step, get all your ingredients out. I have ground chicken sausage. Can't trust the importance of your quality in chicken. I know we talk a lot about beef with grass fed, grass finished, all of that jazz, but chicken I think is even more important being they are smaller animals. So you wanna get something that's really been fed good quality ingredients as well as antibiotic free. So I have mushrooms and my cauliflower mixed together right here. Spinach, great source of magnesium chopped up onions, so you should have the pre-chopped onions in your cart, a three-fourths of a cup of a good quality bone broth. I'm gonna top ours with a little fresh ground Parmesan cheese, and then your salt and pepper and olive oil. Super easy, right? So to get started, turn on your pan over medium-high heat. So right now, I'm using a Salad Master skillet. This is called a brazer pan. It's like that because it has the higher walls, so you have more room to stack things up in the pan without them overflowing, um, as opposed to just a normal gourmet skillet. So highly recommend this, and it comes with a handy dandy lid as well. So super simple, heat up your pan, just stick about a tablespoon of olive oil in your pan, and toss in your chicken and your onions. And you're just going to let all of that brown for about five to seven minutes until the chicken doesn't have to be all the way done. because We're going to cook it some more, but just so it gets a good brown going and just kind of break it up and, and then you'll want to stir it every minute or so. The onions in here are great for detoxification. They also actually help with seasonal allergies just through detoxing all your sinuses and whatnot. Um, your chicken is a great source of lean protein. We got lots more goodies for you. Go ahead and let this brown. All right, it's been about five minutes. Our onions are starting to get translucent and our ground chicken is all nice and broken up. So I'm just gonna add our sliced mushrooms and our cauliflower and stir them around for about two minutes until they're starting to brown on the edges. If your family doesn't like mushrooms, just leave them out. It won't hurt this dish at all. You're still gonna get all of your good veggie quality from everything else. I will say mushrooms use in ancient days. I recently learned they were considered the food of the gods. Um, they can really help with energy levels and brain health. And then we also have our cauliflower in here. And cauliflower is part of the cruciferous family of vegetables and they're sulfur containing, they're great for antioxidants in your body as well as detox your bloodstream, your phase one and phase two detox. So they are a low carb way to replace any sort of grain in a lot of dishes that packs a lot of nutrient value. All right, it's been about two minutes. The cauliflower is starting to brown. I'm gonna add a little garlic powder to here, which I didn't mention earlier, but it's an important step, adds a ton of flavor. And then I'm gonna throw in our bone broth. I like using Fond bone broth, super good quality. And they have glass jars and the seal of the jars really helps to maintain the integrity of the broth. So just add your bone broth right on in. It was three fourths of a cup. And then also we're gonna add in our spinach. I know it looks like a lot, but it will cook down and wilt. So no need to worry about it. Uh, found a blueberry with my spinach. Note to self, don't wash my blueberries with my spinach. All right, add all the rest of your spinach in there. Cover your pan, let it sit for about six to seven minutes. Don't pot watch it, don't lift your lid, just let it sit. Everything will get nice and cohesive and will basically be done. Your spinach in there is gonna add lots of magnesium to your dish, which most Americans are deficient in magnesium, so that'll be awesome nutrient value and it'll be tasty and delicious. All right, it's been about six minutes. Now we're just gonna uncover. Our spinach should be nice and wilted. You can crank the heat up if you want to a little bit to high. And we're gonna let the liquid cook off uncovered for another couple of minutes. So 
it's been a couple of minutes. Your cauliflower should be nice and tender. Your mushrooms should be tender. And liquid, if you have a little bit of excess liquid, just let it cook a little bit longer on high, uncovered, and that'll all cook off. You can add salt and pepper to your liking. Salt's gonna add a lot of good electrolytes, so I recommend some good quality sea salt, as well as some fresh ground pepper. And then if you and your household are dairy tolerant, adding a little fresh ground Parmesan on top makes it super delicious. Parmesan is actually a good source of the good cholesterol, as well as calcium, and adds a little extra protein. There you have it, folks. There's our cauliflower hash with chicken and spinach. Now you can just serve it up in a bowl, and we hope that you enjoy. Thanks for joining New Leaf Table and letting me cook with you. I'm Chef E, and we'll see you next time. Thanks. To subscribe to New Leaf Table's meal plan service with weekly meals and easy delivery through your existing Amazon Fresh membership, visit our website at newleaftable.com. And also, please hit the subscribe button to our YouTube channel. Are you, are you starting? Allium. Allium? Al what is it? Allium. Allium. <laughs> All right, super good quality, and they have glass jars, and the seal of the jars really helps to maintain the integrity of the broth, makes it self shelf stable. It makes it sell. It makes it. <laughs> it makes it shelf stable. Found a blueberry with my spinach. Note to self: don't wash my blueberries with my spinach. Um. Um. And this is also in here. We need to edit that out. <laughs> it's my...